So what other ideas um, have you had for Bullets? And is it, is it a continuing project or is this the conclusion? Another album? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. David, yeah. how are you going to fit this in? I'm going to Africa and then um, uh, Mongolia, then coming back finishing the Blur album. It's like you were rocking then when you started to say all that. You started rocking back because of all the Indian Indian Jones. Yeah. There was not, isn't there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we start working on, on this again. As the day I woke up, I realised that, that being a musician was about music and nothing else. Life has got a lot simpler, and my whole life got a lot simpler. I recommend it to anyone who's involved in music to sort of concentrate on music and finish sort of stuff out. Then had the idea that the next yeah. album should, should, be should be presented differently. Well, a soundtrack. Yeah. yeah. Soundtrack. Right. Score. Yeah. But not like you, any normal soundtrack. I mean, it'd be a soundtrack. It'd be fucked up. It'd be a soundtrack. Great one. Pop songs. The next stage of this is really for us is right back to the attitude we had with this one, yeah. which was like, you Just know, we're going to have to convince everyone again. Yeah. You know, I think that's what we thrive for. That's what you make really good stuff. But you have to go into the wilderness, so to speak, yeah, yeah. really, to come up with really good ideas, and then you come back. If I'm like that, got it like that. You know, you've got to try these things. Won't be too loud in my ear, though, will it? Yes, mate. It will definitely ear up your head. Yes. You think it will feed back as well? Obviously. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. Now, when I come out with a new eyeliner, I don't necessarily test it on rabbits today, because it's already been tested. You know what I'm saying, Drew? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, do you? You wearing lipstick? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you're going to try and do something, right, that is a bit of cartoon magic, you've got to be somewhere. You know, you can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. Tim? That one? Yeah. Well, it's already on the net. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's, it's got it's no nerve no, no, using juices. Get it right, it's a breeze. Get it wrong, it's head no, on that's earth. That's right. Yeah, but you know, last time we didn't know that with, um, with Dan. Either, I know. You know, and it just happened to work. So, you know, it's, you, mm. you've got to make some sort of calculated risk. But I always like the idea of just adding something to what we do. You know, yeah. and then adding a bit to it, so it's a joint. Co it's a co it has to be a co-production, whoever it is. Yeah, I know, oh, no, of course. Yeah, exactly. Well, because I think you've pretty much taken high a lot of the songs are pretty much there anyway. It's almost quite loose on the last record as well, and I think. You know, yeah, but I'm really, I've got, man, I think I've got. You know, no, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It might, it feels, I don't mind saying so myself. No, but it feels much tighter. Um, tighter it's fantastic you know. stuff in there. You know, I haven't even really started on it. Yeah. You know? That's what I mean. It's, it feels much harder, much tighter on this already. You know, from what we're hearing. That's just, just musicianship's improved a bit. You a know? bit. Yeah. 
not enough to uh, not enough to put on your um, you know on, on your passport or occupation or musician, <laughs> but. So what happened is that you played, you made the, you made the, the basic group and Snakes and Ladders mm. came out. Mm. I wanted, to, I just wanted to call the song Snakes and Ladders. Oh, yeah. Parsley. Falling out the aeroplane. Parsley. Yeah, I can only work with uh, with uh, with new compression. You know. This is a Neumann. What, no Neumanns? <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm wrapped to the bloody, bloody plastic cup and a string. Roll with a die, look at me, your lady's touch. She ain't a clutch, she's the one called Lady Luck. If ever she be vexed with me, a life you kind of slap wretchedly. Ain't out bigger than the lesson of life itself. Ass cracks don't wipe itself. Fast food, fast death, who's to blame? Who put the chemicals in the food chain? Take away from our mutant breath. Ten pound of squeeze on my silicone breath. Pipe a dream, cast type a dream. Rock a roll, kick a hole in the TV screen. Celebrate with the plastic guts. Modified food aisle. Yeah. They need me dry. Can you leave me dry? That's a great hook. What? That's a great hook. What's that? Put, put the chemicals in the food chain. Yeah. Great. Sounds great. Yeah. Really great. The chemicals in the food chain? Where are the... Oh, yeah. I've been filming since we started the whole thing. So, uh, you know. Let's bring the horns yeah. in here and let's listen to that. <laughs> A major and F sharp minor. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we, we, we are going for something odd. Alright, oh, okay. It's really commanding it, yeah? Da 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 da
Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> Tribute where everyone's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we salute the lost. That's right, we're good now. We've, we've got the whole meaning of the song and everything. Get lost. Get lost. HMS get lost. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Yeah. 
had, uh, had recorded a bunch of stuff already, like, yeah. he, like he did the first time, yeah. And uh, but I sat and listened to a lot of it, and it was great. And then the first thing we worked on was, uh, was Dirty Harry. We got along, and it worked out okay. He's our greatest rapper, yeah. even though it's, you know, people like the streets and everything would never ever have happened if, if yeah. he hadn't. He did those, I mean, it, you start, it starts with an uh, injury, and then it's Sean Ryder, and everything after that is a composite of those two things. If you can pull this off, and you've really earned your producer stripes, you really have. <laughs> Up to hour, I don't know. No, you really yet. have. We'll if you if you can do this, then you really have. You can work with anyone. could actually be a whole new word that you've created. It Maybe we should word. leave it in. Of course, it's taking. All right, I'm don't created that, that, that word. Fucking face, we're just saying. You created that <laughs> word. Deliberately <laughs> created a new right, word well called castrophony. Castrophony, yeah. castrophony. And in there came a sound dissonant at first that grew into castrophony. <laughs> so immense it could be heard far into space. Okay, now. <coughs> No. You, I, I, no, but I mean, we just okay, want no. you to see it, say how you say it, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, at the foot of a great mountain, there was a town where the people known as happy folk lived. Their very existence, a mystery to the rest of the world, obscured as it was by great clouds. Here they played out their peaceful lives, I'm innocent so of the living, excess and violence, and it was growing exorbitantly in the world to walk. Damn, mate. I can't believe it. The mountain monkey was enough. You know when it's... It moves to a dun, 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 that sort of spooky um, yeah. Morricone kind yeah. of thing. That's when the camouflage. That's when the strangers. That's, yeah, I yeah. think that's the, then. Then one day, strange folk. If we could get to that, and then when that starts, then this bit starts. So right. For the first time, the happy folk felt fearful, for they knew that soon the monkey would stir from its deep, deep sleep. Then there came a sound, distant at first, that grew into a castrophony, so immense it could be heard far away in space. There were no screams. There was no time. The mountain called Monkey had spoken. There was only fire. And then, nothing. Oh, a little town in the USA, time's come to see. End of album, boys. Okay, gentlemen, thank you very much. It's been uh, lovely now. You and. Um, what? You have to dump it off the pillow. What? Jolly good. Okay. The second wave has begun. Murdoch Nichols, bass player, bully boy, jailbird, and ladies' man. Oh, really? Hip hop hard man, Russell Hobbs, the drummer, his mind now lost in limbo. 2D, uh, singer, pretty boy, half wit. Hello. And Young Noodle, junior martial arts expert and gorillas visionary. These are gorillas. 
Four people, one band on one mission to save the world from manufactured pop with a worldwide search to find fresh talents, new artists, and the truly gifted. Do it again. The prize? To become a guerrilla's collaborator. I tell you what, mate. If all the world's a stage, I'd get off it if I were you. Hey, yo, give me a chance. Give me a chance. I'll show you a fantastic trick. Shh. Be quiet. I'm working. Who or what are they looking for? Where will this competition lead? View the action online at www.gorillas.com. Come back when you've got something decent to show. And don't forget to shut your face on the way out. <laughs> That could be worse. Really? That's supposed to be lucky, you know. Oh. Demon Days, the new album from Gorillaz. Featuring the single, Feel Good Inc., out now. I bet Keith Richards doesn't have to do things like this. Hell. Yeah, can you hold that for my life? <laughs> one second, you robbed me one as well. Yes, of course, if you hold that for me. Because I'm not an octopus. <laughs> Maybe I should have said it. Oh, don't be spilling coffee all over my fucking nuts. What do we get for a Oh! Just relax. Learn how to relax. I don't relax except for when I'm with you. <laughs> when I'm not with you, people think I'm all Valium. I'm so relaxed. I'm like, all the bones have been removed from my body. I'm like... <laughs> as soon as I get to you, I'm like, see, look, this, I'm more happy about this. <laughs> you just got to believe it's going to be all right. That's that laugh. <laughs> I don't really remember doing this. 
this, you know. I might, I might, I might do it. My, I might do this all, all doing one take, or am I doing the vocals again? No, we're doing one take live, live. Because I don't know what the lyrics are. Uh, that's... Just make them up. Get an album copy. I've no lyrics. It's just made up. No, we're not going to do the vocals again. Really. I know. You don't know what the lyrics are. <laughs> Sorry about this. Thanks. He's not done his homework. <laughs> what are we doing? We're doing the take. We're actually going to do. We're actually now ready for doing takes. So, well. No. Shouldn't there be someone singing? Yeah, there should. But yeah. he has not know the lyrics. something that uh, has no references to, to kind of rock music whatsoever. It's more like a, a sort of a, f a film score revisited, you know, with, with some reference points of the film around it. But it's kind of very, and it's very much a program of music. This gives you an idea of a stage, sir. stage, no? No, no, but for some reason I just... Envisage a slightly Gary. bigger s Gary. width to it, not necessarily depth. Yeah. Good. You can see the depth from enough. around this side. I don't think it's big enough. Gary. Do you want to come and look around this side here, Damon? Damon, come and have a look around this side. You can look all, all down that side you like. This is where this is it, isn't it? There, there. There's your stage. Curtains, pit, <laughs> screen hanging. Well, forget the screen, it's up on the sky. But here's some coloured panels at the back, mm -hmm. band in front of them. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the whole thing here for exactly. choir, mm -hmm. strings. With its glossy floor, so you get the coloured reflections. It's what, you know, I, 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 my, my, my initial thoughts are let's, make, let's try and make an interesting looking stage, but fuck it, let's just have everybody on the same level. You're right at the back. Yes, right. and we still have some coloured panels that flash on. And I think of the, the panels, as but you'll be a smaller silhouette yeah. at the back. You'll, yeah, be, you'll be less. And then you've got choir here. You can have all of the strings on stage, yeah, exactly. all the choirs yeah. on stage. That, I'm happy with that now. Good. Are you That's good? really just... easy. Oh, hey, 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 it's 
you who's been sick of it. No, it's not me. It's just the smell, isn't it? Nice. We need to get that smell out of the fucking... Someone's been puking up in there, man. What the fuck am I? We just... <laughs> I can't I can't just be on stage for like three and a half minutes and have done your set. Yo, it's beautiful like to have someone for us to walk off and then someone try to hand us a towel is like funny like <laughs> yo, we did two hours like yeah. you had me a towel after being on stage for three minutes like you keep your towel yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gorillas, Demon Days, live or DVD. A unique performance of one of the best albums of the past year. Includes older hit singles, Feel Good Ink, Dare, Dirty Hour, and the new single, Kids With Guns. Demon Days, live on DVD, Saturday the 12th of What's the matter with ya? Absolutely. The NME. 
and the editor of the enemy is... And all the journalists who write on the enemy are... It's like, fucking, you know, either get behind us or don't bother, you know. So what have they done? Just, um, uh, rewritten Cass's interviews, edited out, edited... Asked him loads of venomous questions, and he's written loads of very funny answers as Noodle. And then they've edited them and rewritten them to make themselves look like a bunch of smart asses, which they're not, because they're a bunch of... ..who change their opinion every week. <clears throat> so... We're supposed to be doing a cover with them. Dirty, they, they want to do a Dirty Harry. When Dirty Harry comes out as a single, they want to do it as, as a cover. I don't know if I really want to even have my artwork on the front of the enemy. It can't really help you sell that many singles anymore, can it? Being on the cover of the enemy must mean absolutely fuck all. Especially when you're sort of in the top five in America with your album. What's the enemy going to do for you? Sell you an extra five copies to a couple of Razorlight fans? Maybe we should just not bother. Because they're essentially, aren't they? Did I say that, James? Did I tell you I thought they were all... Yeah. <laughs> You're preaching to the converted. <laughs> anyway, I need to get on now. <sighs> I can feel his beady eyes on the back of my neck when I'm trying to draw. <laughs> Here, look, Harry, look. This is what the editor of the editor is. Oh yeah, you get me. So I thought Dirty Harry was the first single because that got out on the internet kind of quickly. That started off uh, on an album I made on the last Blur tour called Demo Crazy, which was just all on four track. Mm -hmm. It was a whole record, totally unfinished, just the first sort of scratchings. Um, that you make in hotel rooms when you're on tour. And I just left it like that, I never developed it. And that's how Dirty Harry started. Music, and then you hear that, and that sort of scream sound is you raising up. And then wow, you throw it off, and then bang, you start. Okay, no problem. And then by cool. as the rap goes on, you sort of you probably start to calm down a bit more because in the end of it, you know, all I want to do is dance, and you sort of like that. Okay. Would it be That's nice if, 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 if like, um, he comes out of the hole and does that, and then he's here, and then he's on top of the truck, and then by the side of it, it's almost like he's a phantom that keeps appearing in different places. Yeah, we can definitely his get rap. That. If you're going to get the truck in it, then we might as well... One minute he can be on top of the truck, we can be looking up, and he can be out of the camera. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. OK, you ready? Let's go. Around this way. This is the point of the day where we bury our featured artist in the desert. Are you all right under there, Booty? Can you hear us? Yeah, it's cool. Tiny little voice on the side. Yeah, okay. Got it? Because I'm like this. Uh -huh. cool. It's kind of hard for me to, yeah. to get a, like... You haven't got any... I can't use my legs to... If I can, if I can sit like this... In the bag. In the bag. In the bag. <sighs> well done, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
yeah! Oh, yeah, I forgot you lot were coming. Right. Hi! Uh, I'm Murdoch Nichols from Gorillas. Welcome to my crib. Come on in! Let me show you round. Right, okay. This is Kong Studios, the Gorillas HQ, home of the world's biggest band. Yeah. Gor -gor Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye. So come on, little chicken. I'll take you round the ranch. Okay, this is a treat now, folks, right? I'm gonna show you where gorillas make our multi-million selling albums. Don't touch anything. Don't touch what you can't afford. You know I mean, watch the cloth moth. <laughs> this is where, like, the magic happens, you know? That is Russell. He's our drummer, you know? Best drummer in, in gorillas. <laughs> Actually, I don't think he is. I think I might be better. <laughs> Use this little baby here for the feel good ink track, eh? Little beauty. <laughs> Burr, we've had Burr, let's see, you know, had Della Soul, D12, Roots Maneuver, yeah. with all, all the gorillas collaborators, and that's easy for you to say. You know, they've all been here, and they've been through this place, you know. Actually, some of them did, they rifled through my drawers. Which <laughs> wasn't the right play, I was in them at the time. Ha <laughs> ha! People known as happy folk. This uh, this is a track we made with uh, Mr. Dennis Hopper. Actually, he loves gorillas. Yeah. Who can blame him? Huh? Murdoch is a knob. Uh -huh. I'll get him. This is me cutting an onion. Oh look, our singer 2D's in it. Hey, face ache! <laughs> ah! Oh, he's a lovely little fellow. So I said to her, Hey, love, you, know, you were great in the Mexican. And it wasn't until like two days later when I realized that you know, Cameron Diaz wasn't in the Mexican. Uh, I'll tell you what, you know, I've seen quite a few episodes of NTV Cribs, and every house is the same. Yeah? What's all that about? The first thing these peasants do when they get any money you know, is buy some tacky show home and then fill it up with all this shit. And they call it culture. They wouldn't know what a culture was if it jumped up and bit them you know, and took them on holiday. You know? Peasants, slags, scumbag. Shall we see if noodles in? Oh, this looks great in here. Actually, this is the place where we film the video to our track, Dare. Far out, man. Here is the geek we used in the 192000 video. That will cost you more than a space shuttle. And that over there is my Winnie Bago. This is the payoff. My love shack on wheels. This is the real heart of Kong, right? The, the crib's crib. 
my prized possession. Yeah. And over here on the wall are some of my famous celeb chums. That's me there with uh, Angelina. I had her. She's all right. Oh, that's me and Cameron. I've had her too. And that's cool. I've had her too. <laughs> Wish I hadn't. And that bloke over there, see? That's my dad. Hey, you there. Why don't you jump in next to me and come and feel the quality of these sheets? Real Egyptian silk. No, 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 don't touch that. <clears throat> Actually, I think it's time you left. So, that's my crib, baby. Hey, listen, I hope you had a wonderful time and gained an insight into the wild, wild ways that gorillas live, you know? But, uh, hey, uh, listen, I, I've got some, uh, some work to do and it's pretty important, so, uh, you lot uh, better f***. Let's get frisky. The stench is unbelievable. A brain, a finger, some cheese, an eyeball. Oh, smell that air. Mm, it's like someone cooking t or something. Hey, everybody, look at me. I'm a moron. I'm in good shape, aren't I? The rear end of a hog onto the front of a zebra. I killed that bear. <laughs> In your dreams. No, I did, I did. I'm one of the best bassists you're gonna hear, really. You know, that's uh, some guy looking up Malcolm McDowell's <laughs> Do you know what? I thought I saw Arnie Sacknewson there once. It might have been a hallucination. You can see the, the, the light from the Earth's core coming through, which I think is really good. There you are. He was almost cast as Maria von Trapp. <laughs> Good morning. How's it going? I heard you guys uh, had a long night getting into the States. Pardon? Oh, no, nothing. Hey, so... I, I, what, are you trying to, what are you trying to uh, say about me? Yeah, you just flew in, is that right? Yeah, I flew in last night, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so I guess my first question is, 
But how, how, how on earth am I going to get here unless I have a long flight? Unless you've invented a new form of travel. <laughs> well, I, I, you know. I'm Dr. Lundy. Right. I have four children here who are from my congregation right. in New Jersey. Right. And we were invited. This was I, I was just told to show up at three o'clock. Right. Some kids that could sing. Right. Okay. And I did. When I got heard the words, which yeah. was my first time. Yeah. I was shocked. I was like, wait, am I hearing this? So I asked if I could see the words, and I, I was about to bring them out, and, and I was told to let me explain. So could you help me understand why we yeah, should well, have male, African-American males in the context of New York, at the Apollo, no doubt, singing, yeah, I need a gun it is to keep me from harm? No, it doesn't. It's just to keep myself among. Uh-huh. Keep myself among. The With poor the, people who are burning in the sun. It says harm. No, that's not the lyric. See, that's that. Then that's something that, different. That's not the lyric at all. It says that I need a gun to keep myself among the poor people who are burning in the sun. Say the word, the last word again. The mung. Among. 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 Like a my among. That's among. that one word makes a major difference. And well, that's it's not harm. That's just some. That's that. But that's bureaucracy what the kids are singing. Going, but that, they're singing the wrong. And and I don't, I don't know why. Uh, why? Wayne, he's he's why? done it. In England, with kids right. of similar um, ethnic backgrounds, right. and it was recorded in Atlanta with purely uh, African American. Exactly. Okay. With with um, so it's kind of its origins are already amongst amongst. But but when you say that word, I mean, just for you to change this word from harm to among. Well, you got harm on that's there. That's a major. No, he didn't write these lyrics. No, 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 but there's <laughs> never, that was, that's not, it's, I need a gun to keep myself among. It's a kind of rhetorical thing. It's an anti-war song. And completely, if you look at uh, Booty Brown's, the lyrics of Brown, it's utterly and totally anti that. It's, it's pacifist. The whole record is a pacifist record. What's the gun here? The, gu the gun, the gun is, 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 is a, uh, I suppose I, I, I see the gun uh, and I use it throughout the record mm -hmm. as uh, as a strong kind of it's such a it's it, it is such a negative image that it has to be somehow sort of destroyed and turned into something else you know it's do you know what I mean and that's all I'm trying to do in the record that's all I'm trying to do that's why I'm being very very upfront and yes Having using a kids' choir on the record, it is. It's. It, it's. But. But. You know. To be honest with you, you're the first people who have actually. Have actually. Who have it, even really it, thought I find, about. I find that very shocking. Mm. But well, really you know, my, my, my mother, my mother, my mother finds it shocking that I make these records and no one seems to kind of sort of understand that right. there's this. And and I'm. I mean, I'm sure if I live in the UK, I could probably get a more understanding of it, but I'm talking about the situation well, I wrote that happened. Song. The I, situation that happened here yes, and the way that no, the kids use well, we, weapons here. Yeah, you know. but we have, it in, we have it in Britain. You see, you, you, well, I, well, I, we I, I, don't, I yeah, I don't know. I don't, know. Yeah, I don't watch have, news We have Britain. it in Britain. Britain. We have kids, kids much, in you know, schools yeah. with guns. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Okay. Yeah. Really. Right. You know, there's no difference. Yeah. Yeah, I think what I hear you saying is that it's almost the, the the dichotomy between dark and light. Exactly. You know, the yeah. album is called Demon Days. And the, the, the fine... <laughs> These words, okay, I got you. I, no. I know, but, but you've got to understand. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I will do. You know, I'm not. But when you're really I, I do. I want to. Yeah. Uh, thank not you. Thank person. you for your work. <laughs> and Where's Damon? I've been stressed out. <laughs> I mean, really, seriously. I mean, I've never gone on, I've never, uh, you know, I mean, I love music, but man, I've never, you know, except for this one thing when I played Sinatra, have I ever even thought about performing a song, mm. much less, you know, I can't sing a you know, note, but but this is like, you know, it's just a, yeah, well. Do you want to work out that key, Dennis? Sure, let's try one more. Let's just do it. Look at that hole. Just look, just look at this just look at it. Oh, oh, great. <laughs> Looking for a meal, are you? <laughs> <laughs> so that should do it. You know? yeah, yeah, I don't think you need to, you okay, need to devote any more of your stress to this. 
okay, really. Yeah. It's going to be great. Because you've got to say you've got <laughs> It is, it is. Uh, and I hope you have a fantastic night tonight and, uh, you know, really enjoy it. And, you know, great. hopefully you'll be kind of be oh, itching to get on that stage and do damn it. Damn right. <laughs> I mean, the Apollo I Theater, man. <laughs> it's like every fucking body who has ever any. And they've got they've got this um, <laughs> they've got this lucky tree stump which they kind of carry around. It's it's, it's, it's wonderful. You just touch, it's like you can stick your head in it, yeah. and it's just there's a sound in there that's uh, yeah. it's a very unique sound. Yeah. It's a beautiful but place. I, lo I love Harlem. I love the feel of Harlem. Oh yeah, I lived there for <laughs> I lived there for almost a year. I was a dancer. That New in the early fifties. Very good stay. Hey, you're fucking kids in the car. Listen, I'm doing a film. I tell you what, I was wrong about that. That is actually a brilliant t shirt. It says everything you need to know. Instantly. Yeah, what? You want it? Hey. Smart. Pop that off, Chris. Carrie, you really should wear some clothes. I keep telling you this. Yeah, we put up with it for a long time. Are you fucking stinky? No, because I'm going to be sick, and if I'm sick, then it ruins my vocal cords. Some others do haven't. That's not me, that's in there. Oh, fuck off. You just said you literally cracked your pants in front of everyone. You go, that's not me. You did, you shot it then. I can't take it, so it's not my... Is that so? I can't, I can't say it.
there, it's me, Murdoch Nichols, the brains and bass player behind the global superstar band Gorillaz. I've got some great news for you. We've just written our autobiography, the full story of Gorillaz, from our brilliant birth right up to the present day. It's called Gorillaz, Rise of the Ogre. Spooky. Rise of the Ogre features 300 pages stuffed to the brim with behind-the-scenes info and tells in full gory details the ups, downs and gruesome history of my incredible band. You'll find out everything. How we formed, the making of our ear-blistering albums and gobsmacking Gorillaz videos, the concerts, the hits, mucky love affairs, demonic possessions, breakdowns, wild tours, jail sentences, and much, much more. And what's more, kids, it all comes with fantastic images and brand new illustrations from our talented sidekick, Jamie Hewlett, picturing every aspect of the immense gorilla's world. Rise of the Ogre really is a stunning four-colour documentary of my far-fetched group, told first-hand mm -hmm, by the four members of Gorillas. that's me, Russell Noodle, and the other one. Mm -hmm. Just how did these four unique characters come to dominate the music industry and change the world of entertainment as we know it for good, huh? Well, it's all in here. Gorillas, Rise of the Ogre, probably the best autobiography ever written. What more do you want? So this manufactured rubbish, so yeah. we thought we could do it a little bit better. People take themselves way too seriously yeah. in the music business, so I suppose Gorillaz for us is an antidote to that. <laughs> Damon, it's a uh, police, they want you to stop playing the fucking police. A bit of it comes from my nasty little brain, and a bit of it comes from Damon's nasty little brain, and it's a little brain child. <laughs> This is kind of like Pink Floyd. Well, no disrespect to Pink Floyd, but, you know, we've got tunes. <laughs> you totally fucking blew that. Oh, for God's sake. Just say what I think. OK, they so don't get it in that way yet. You know, right, I'm sorry I said right. you blew it. You didn't blow it. What you have is a giant cinema screen on stage, a live band standing behind, and onto the screen we project animation, images, live action, and just all kinds of stuff. Good luck! I'll go down a pub. Walking would stir from its deep, deep sleep. The real band members of the Gunners are going to become so much more knackered than the cartoon characters.